making a mosaic, begin your project by choosing choosing the item you want to decorate you wish to decorate, consider a simple idea such as a garden stepping stone and a simple design then gather your tesserae and cut them into uniform sizes if you are using tile nippers place the cutting gels so that they overlap the edge of your tesserae about an eighth of an inch squeeze the handles firmly to make a curved shape try several small cuts nibbling away, away slowly if you have problems cutting your tesserae with the tile dippers chances are you are putting too much of the materials into the jaws of the dippers next apply an even coating of the of grout to the surface then press it into the cracks with a spatula or a rubber float once all the cracks are filled with grout you can begin to remove the rest from the surface start by thoroughly wiping the, the entire mosaic with a lightly dampened dampen sponge have a big bucket of clean water nearby use it to clean the sponge wring it out and then wipe the surface again repeat this until the surface is very clean and smooth make sure all the pieces of tesserae are visible sometimes the thinner pieces get buried by the crowd there may still be a haze left on the surface of the mosaic too this can be wiped off the, with a clean, soft cloth in about an hour as the grout hardens. When cleaning up, do not dump, in, dump the water used to rinse the sponge down the drain. The ground grout can settle and harden in a drain pipe, pipe drain pipe, and cause future clothes also when cleaning have off after working with cement products such as grout it is helpful to rinse your hands to the vinegar before washing them this will help restore the ph balance for all your skin after three days the grout will hardened completely and it can be sealed. Sealing is not necessary but if the mosaic will be outdoors or will open, often come into contact with moisture, it is a good idea. This will also help seal out many any stains. Conclusion. Also, uh, the finished product looks very <sighs> sophisticated and complex. Making a mosaic is quite, quite simple and quite simple and requires only a few of materials and supplies. Beginners and professionals alike can create beautiful lasting designs with broken tiles, pieces of broken dishes and other unique objects. With this and a few other common tools you can create your own mosaic in no time. Thursday, November 24th. Today, I 
hurrying very much but because I ate all of my breakfast I missed my normal taking bus so I walked all the way to the to the other bus stop and waited there and took a bus that go, that goes uh, right front of my school but I was late so my teacher punished me but not that hard today yesterday our class's computer has been broken not broken maybe it doesn't work it's not turning off mm. so it we couldn't have pro uh, good lesson good classes today because the computer didn't work anyway after school my schedules was very busy I was very busy so I had to go to math academy right after school and I had to go to the English academy as as soon as I can anyway after math academy I went to English academy and I had I came back home and I ate dinner. 